students how are you i hope you are doing well and keeping yourself safe welcome to triveni memorial senior secondary school online classes today we are going to start with our chapter alice in wonderland it is a class 4th chapter students and it is a unit 4 chapter so now we'll go to the chapter one day alice was lying under a tree listening to her sister reading a story so one day what happened alice was lying under the tree and listening to the sister reading a story suddenly she saw a white rabbit scamper by he had pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat he took out a big watch from his vest coat pocket and as he hurried away he said oh dear i will be too late so what happened suddenly student suddenly it suddenly alice saw a white rabbit uh, rabbit going he he went just near he was running near the near the alice where where did the alice where was alice sitting alice was sitting under a tree so what happened suddenly she saw a white rabbit scampered by he had a pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat so the rabbit was having a pink eyes and he was wearing a blue coat he took a then he took a big whisk whisk uh, big watch from his vest coat pocket so vest coat here means the uh, inner coat like first we are going to wear a coat no first we are going to wear a a vest coat and then we are going to wear a coat upon that that is known as the vest coat so what did the rabbit did rabbit took big watch from the vest coat pocket as he was hurrying you know he was in hurry and he was just going on telling to himself that oh dear i will be too late so he was telling that that he is uh, he will be too late he thought there was something very different about this rabbit so what alice thought he thought uh, she thought that there is something different about this rabbit i could talk it wore a it could talk it wore a red vest coat it carried a watch so what was different about that rabbit he was he was talking first of all he was wearing a red vest coat and he was carrying a big watch alice wondered a talking rabbit a rabbit who wears a vest coat alice was burning with curiosity and she followed the white rabbit so what alice was wondering students alice was wondering that oh it is a talking rabbit who is wearing a vest coat alice was burning with curiosity and she started following the white rabbit now come to the next line see here the alice is running running towards rabbit where uh, where rabbit is running so alice running back to the rabbit you have seen in the picture also now we'll go to the next line the rabbit started running and alice followed the rabbit so what happened the rabbit started running so the rabbit was going on running and alice was following the rabbit the rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole so what uh, did the rabbit did the rabbit jumped into the rabbit hole alice jumped into the rabbit hole too so what happened first rabbit jumped into the uh, rabbit hole then alice jumped into the rabbit hole the rabbit went down 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 into the rabbit hole so the rabbit went uh, into the uh, into the rabbit hole down 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 alice said aloud where i am then alice also went there as you know and then uh, alice shouted that where i am going how many meals down i have fallen i must be i must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth so she was going on thinking that i i am i am near somewhere in the center of the earth she wondered will i slip 
threw the earth to the other side so she was again thinking that that i'll be i'll be slipped through the other side of the earth thumb alice landed on the pile of dry leaves so what happened then she landed on the pile of dry leaves there were so many dry leaves and then the alice landed on that dry leaf see she looked around quickly and suddenly saw the white rabbit again then again what did the alice saw alice saw a white rabbit again it it disappeared saying oh my ears and whiskers how late it's getting so again the rabbit got disappeared and he the rabbit was tell, uh, going on telling that how late it's getting so he was going on telling that that i am getting late late so now we'll go to the next line alice stood up and saw a small door about 15 inches high so as you know rabbit got disappeared uh, alice stood up stood up means she got up and saw a door a small door a very small door it was about 15 inches high it was only 15 inches high it was too small for her to to go through so as you know alice cannot go through that go through that small small door as it was only 15 inches high so what happened next she saw a glass table with a golden golden key on it so uh, what alice saw she saw a golden uh, a golden table she saw a glass table she saw a glass table and a golden key key on it, it uh, on a glass table a golden key was kept there she tried the golden key uh, she tried she tried the little golden key in the lock to her and delight it fitted so what happened she tried the golden key in the lock and what happened it the lock opened alice opened the door and looked into the loveliest garden she had ever seen what she saw after opening the uh, opening uh, open uh, opening the lock she saw a very wonderful and loveliest garden she has ever seen how she she longed to be among those bed of bright flowers and those cool fountains so she was going on she uh, thinking that i i want to be uh, in the you know she longed to be among so she wanted to be there for long time uh, in the beds of bright flowers and uh, and with the cool fountains but she could not even get her head through the doorway so she was going on thinking that students ki i want to be uh, in uh, that loveliest garden but as you know the the garden the, the the doorway of that garden was so small as you know she could not even get her head through the doorway oh how i wish i could become smaller she exclaimed loudly so she was going on thinking that if i could be small i can go into that uh, into that doorway and see the loveliest garden uh, where there is lovely flowers and cool fountains in it so she was going on thinking like that and she was going on telling to him telling to herself uh, herself loudly that i could be small then only i can go through the doorway I, the i uh, if she is small sorry students if she is small then only she can go through that doorway na isn't it so she was going on thinking that and telling to herself that if i could be small i can go through that door and see the lovely flowers and the cool fountains and enjoy the enjoy in the garden so this is about this chapter students go through the video thoroughly go to the video thoroughly related to this chapter now we'll go to the go to the word meaning related to this chapter students scramble to move in and hurry i have told you before also that hurried to rush pop to go somewhere without any notice disappeared vanish disappeared means vanish whiskers long hair on the face of animals now we'll go to the question answers part while listening to the story what did alice see while listening to the story alice saw a white rabbit running hurriedly 
hurriedly what was different about the rabbit that alice see the uh, the rabbit uh, that alice saw was different as it could talk as you know the rabbit could talk and also wore a red vest coat and carried a watch now we'll go to the next question where did the rabbit go where did the rabbit go the rabbit went to its its rabbit hole how did the alice reach wonderland alice jumped into the rabbit hole following the rabbit and reached the wonderland wonderland means where there was many flowers were very beautiful flowers and the cool fountains what strange things did the alice see what were things the alice saw alice saw beautiful beds of bright flowers and cool fountains i have told you before also students describe in your own words the garden that alice saw alice saw the most beautiful garden from the doorway it was filled with different colors of beautiful flowers there was also a cool fountain inside which sparkled fresh and cool water and the last question is draw the garden of your dream you have to draw the garden of your own dream so this is about this chapter sujit go through the go through the video thoroughly till then take care students thank you meet you in the next video